How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Very exciting times as I'm sure all of you agree. I'm sure you've heard within the last few hours now a new feature has been announced for Forza Horizon 4 called Super 7. It's a very big feature, it's a very big update, it's, it's opened a world of opportunities for Forza Horizon 4 players. And as you may have seen in the past few hours, I have been live streaming the new update live. Now Playground Games and Turn 10 have been very kind enough to give me early access to this feature so I can review it, you know, just play around with it for about a week before release. And this feature doesn't go live until tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So this video is coming out on the Monday. So in this video, I'm basically going to show you the whole feature. What Horizon Super 7 is, what the challenges are, how to make your own challenges and how that works, because it can get a little fiddly, and just basically the whole thing. So by the time you get the new update yourself tomorrow and when it's public you'll already know everything about it and you can come back to this video and just re-watch the certain bits you need to watch. So Horizon Super 7. As you can see it gives you a new tab on the map and it's based off mini challenges around PR stunts and sort of route to route races. A Super 7 challenge can be one of these eight things. It can be a speed camera so you have to get or beat a certain time or speed, sorry, um, through a speed trap or a speed zone. It could be the same thing with a danger sign. You have to get a certain score on a danger sign, or it could just be damage control. You have to get from one point to the other side of the map or wherever else without damaging your car in a certain amount of time. But the key thing about Super 7 challenges is there is now the ability to add structures and props to the challenges big trains, you can block the pass with them, you can add ramps to make the danger signs better, you can add obstacles to make it harder to get to the speed trap. Just loads of obstacles and structures can be added to these challenges. The main thing on Horizon Super 7 is this here, you get seven challenges here and you need to complete them all to sort of complete a Super 7 run. So for example the first challenge I've been given here is by a guy called Yacht and you have to get two air skills in the Ford F-150 in less than five minutes. And I'm presuming that in this map, he's added some jumps or structures in there to make it easier or harder to get these air skills. And once you complete it, it will bring you another card and you have to complete that challenge, then a third one, a fourth one, a fifth one, a sixth one, a seventh one. And it's worth noting that all of these challenges are community made by us, by all of us, by me, by you, everyone. So let me just quickly go into this one just so I can quickly show you what it's about. So here we go, this is the beginning of the challenge. I can already see that this guy has plonked a, um, a ramp down over there. We do it in his car, you can't pick what car to do these challenges in. But as I said, the challenge is to get two air skills and he's given us a load of ramps to do it on. Oh my word, hang on a minute. So yeah, you can see the basis of the thing. This guy's added a bunch of ramps. He's added some shipping containers over there. I am struggling to get up this ramp, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you can see the basis of it now, of the, the amount of insane stuff you can add to these Super 7 challenges. I've not got a second air skill yet because he's making it hard for people, you see. That's two air skills, and now all I need to do is make it to the end destination in, well, I've got another three minutes to do that. There we go, I completed all the air skills, and I'm about to get to the destination with three minutes to spare. That is a Horizon 7 Super 7 challenge. So that's an example of a challenge that a community member has made, and after that, you get given another challenge. Now, if you come across one that you don't like and you're struggling to do it, you can burn it. For example, there's one by Alan here, but I don't like his challenge. I've never played it, but just, just for as an example, let's pretend we don't like this one. We're going to burn it by clicking RB, click yes, and it will just, it'll, it'll just give you another one. So yes, after you complete seven, you'll get a little reward. In this case, it's a wheel spin. I can imagine the rewards will get a bit more exciting than that in the future. And as you do challenges and you complete Super 7s, you will unlock tiers here. You will unlock the first tier, second tier, third tier, fourth, fifth, sixth, and you'll, you know what this is all about. This has been the game since launch. You'll get XP and two of the new cars which were announced as well today. If you just want to play random um, community challenges, you can go to the challenge browser and you can search for just any challenge 
that people have made. There's not many at the moment because not many have the update early, but there's one by Nick there. One more quick example of the type of challenge you can do, and then we'll get on to how to create your own challenge. This is one that I've done. It's just a fast course that you've got to do without crashing, really, and you'll see, you'll see what it is. Skills, you've just got to get through that speed trap at 205 miles an hour while supposedly not crashing into anything. I've added some trains, I've added some loops, I've added some more loops, just made it a little bit difficult. I've added a little ramp here to throw you off, and then this bit here throws you off. You have to go down the little inny side, pull off bit there, and then it's a nice big sprint over to the finish. It's just, a, you know, you, you get the idea of what the Super 7 challenges are now. They are a lot different to normal races. Let's talk about how to do your own Super 7 challenges. Now this is the bit where you've got to pay attention because there are some very specific things which are you need to know. Regardless of what Super 7 challenge you're going to do, whether it's a speed trap or a danger zone or a point to point, you have to get in the car that you want that race to be done in, you want that challenge to be done in. So if you're making a challenge for a speed trap in a Ferrari 458, you have to get in the Ferrari 458 before you even begin creating the challenge. So let's get in the Ferrari 458 and start a challenge with that, bearing in mind that people will only be able to do your challenge in whatever car you make it in. In this case, it's the Ferrari 458. And then the next important thing is planning what you're going to do first. For example, I want to do a challenge. Um, what do I want to do? I want to do a challenge. Oh, I don't know. You put me on the spot now. I want to do a challenge at this danger sign here. It could be a danger sign. It could be a speed trap. It could just be a point to point race. But you have to go on the map where you want that challenge to begin. So if I just stay here and I go over to Horizon 7 and create challenge card, click danger sign and go down here. When people play my challenge, they will start exactly where I am up here. And we don't want that. We want, we want them to start closer to the challenge. So before you even go to create a challenge card, you have to drive to the location and be in the car that you want the place to begin. So I want it to begin right here in the Fry 458. So this is where I want my challenge to begin. I want it to be in this car. Now I can go over to Rise of Super 7 and click Create Challenge Card. In my case, I changed the danger sign. So we're going to pick the danger sign and we're going to pick it there. So we have a starting location, we have the car, we have the challenge, now we can get building. There's all sorts of things here. You can turn traffic off, have the weather is clear, weather is sunny. We're gonna make it summer, obviously, and we don't want any music, do we? Who likes music? There, and now you have all the time in the world to create your challenge. So once you're in the builder, you can click the select button and you will have a library of props. There's ramps, barriers, misc, festivals and stunt parks. Now the stunt park things are absolutely huge as you can see, but I'm sure everyone's used something like this before in their lives. You can place something down, you can rotate it, you can pitch it, you can roll it, you can do anything you want and as you'll see in the top right hand corner there's actually a budget of what you're allowed but thankfully the budget is actually quite high you are actually allowed quite a lot of stuff on the um on the race which is one of the biggest things i think that's that's the, the good thing you're actually allowed to have a lot so you just pick and choose what props you want to have i want to have a ramp there um oh, i don't know let's just have another ramp just i don't know there i don't know just play around and when you finish building go back go back go and test drive and you can test drive with them just make sure they're all correct so make sure that ramp works yes it does make sure this ramp works i mean well i didn't mean to do that but let's just let's go for it anyway you can drive to certain points on the track and if you think right i want to build something here you can get something and you can build a nice little ramp there go back to test drive and the ramp will appear. Um, you're in no rush to complete the challenge. You can just build for as long as you want. And then obviously I'm going to want to add a ramp to the danger sign itself, just to give a huge, sort of a big target to get. So we're going to add a, a big ramp there. And then obviously you need to set a score for people to beat. So I'm gonna go up the ramp myself now. There we go. I'm going to set a score in my own challenge. 
There we go, I set a new score of 337 metres. Now if I wanted to set it a little bit harder, I can just drive back up there and do it again. Now I think there's a little bit of a bug with sort of completing your challenge and publishing it. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner it says that two of the things have the same button, the select button. It's quite strange. What I would suggest doing now, once you've placed all your props and done your thing, I would suggest clicking the pause button and going to retry and then clicking yes. It won't remove any of your props, but you will be back at the beginning to set your run properly. Now you may have already set your score before, however, I recommend doing this for the cleanest run, cleanest time, and to set your score, you know, you know to set targets the best way. This would be the same with a speed trap, same with a speed zone, same with a point to point race. Complete it yourself after building all the props, set that time or the score for, for your people to beat in the challenge. There we go, so all of my props are still here, I'm just officially setting a time. So I'm gonna go, sorry not a time, a score. There we are. 409 meters, and there we go. I've set the distance, all my props are there, I had to click retry so it would step me back at the beginning, and then you can click continue and give your challenge a name. There we are, you can set a description as well. You can adjust the challenge settings, which you don't really want to do. And the other main thing you can do is adjust the time limit. For example, that took me 46 seconds to complete. Now, if you want to give people extra time to beat your to beat your score, you can up it to, to up to 30 minutes, I believe. So if I set a really difficult score, um, you can give them sort of five minutes to sort of drive back and retry again a few times until they beat it. Um, in this case, it wasn't very hard, but just as an example, we're gonna set it to five minutes and then you can go and publish the challenge card. And once it's published, that's it. Your challenge card is now public and it will come up in people's Horizon 7 challenges for people to beat. Your challenge could pop up there um, for people to try and beat. Now I'm sure you can imagine there is a whole world of things you can do with this creator. It doesn't have to be just to be races, it can be fun stuff as well. Like what I'm about to show you right here for about 20 seconds. Oh yes. Look at that, a giant skate park in Forza Horizon 4. Video on this when I can be bothered. Oh yes, it's so much fun! So I hope this has sort of explained to you what Horizon 7 is, or Super 7 sorry, how it works and how you can just, you know, how, how it works. Now once again the key things to remember about creating your own challenge cards are make sure you are in the car that you want your challenge to be competed in and make sure you click create challenge card when you are already in the location that you want it to begin. Those are two very important things that you can easily screw it up. Build everything you want to do, test it out and when you're keen you are done click the pause button, click retry and set the target for, for certain. Anyway, ladies and gentlewoman, I hope this has explained everything well. Um, I'm sure you're all looking forward to getting this update yourself about a, a day from now or tomorrow, probably today. To be honest, most of you people that have got to this point probably already got the update, so I hope this video has helped you out. But I'm sure you can expect all sorts of different videos from me on this. Created my own maps. I've already got three or four different custom maps I'd like to show. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you can all look forward to that. Anyway, ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Fortnite content. I'll see you all later.